Hi guys, it's Miss Shop Slot, and I am here with a, pretty sure this is, oh, it's a thrift slash garage sale haul, and I got some amazing jewelry. Some of the stuff you might like, some of the stuff you might not like, I love it. Um, it was a great garage sale that I went to. I actually got Princess Casserole, and we went back the next day and bought some more stuff. Um, great great sale. Got some really, really cool, unique pieces. And of course, I got a couple of bags and some, you know, random stuff. <laughs> so I will get started. Uh, did I show you guys this bag? I don't know if I showed you guys this bag. I may have. So I'm going to show you guys again at the end. I don't know if I did or not. Okay, anywho, you know, I always have uh, very r random stuff, <laughs> and today is of no exception, so it's just get into it. I did pick up these Cortez Nikes. Uh, they were really clean and nice, and they're my size, and they are the Bills colors, red, white, and blue. So I picked these up for myself for $10. Um, classic vintage look, love them. This is random stuff. I picked these up, I do sell these. Uh, this one was actually really cool. I've never seen, ooh, I have, I'm having a rough day here. <laughs> I have never, okay. I've never seen a tooled leather agenda, but it is, it has two M's on it, and then it's got the clips inside, and this was a dollar, and it came with, this is from T Tandy Tool Leather, uh, Tandy Leather Company, and they are memo refills and address book refills, so I picked those up, and yeah, I believe there are two M's, I love, love this. So my last name used to start with an M. Um, so back then that would have been awesome. Let me scooch y'all up a little bit. Okay. This I picked up because I just thought it was the cutest. It may, yeah, it's not vintage. It is from Marshall's originally 13. I paid three, but I just thought it was the coolest with the little fake paws. And I just thought it was so neat. What am I going to use it for, you ask? I have no idea. But it was cute, and it was $3. <laughs> and that and there lies my problems. Um, I don't know. I'm sure I'll find something. It's so cute. I did get some random things. We got Moonlight Path Shower Gel. You know, maybe I'll put it fancy on my counter. Oh, my goodness. Look at that vintage dress. Oh, my God. I love it. Anyways, maybe I'll put it on my counter with soaps in it. This is Living Proof Perfect Hair Dry Body Builder, customizable body and hold. I did pick up a couple bottles of these to resell. These were $2.50. Some of these sell for a decent amount. Let's go back over here. And then this brand new was a dollar afternoon apple picking. That's going right downstairs. Um, like I said, Oh, I do have a mystery bag. You want to do a mystery bag? Mystery bag! I love mystery bags. I don't see them very often, so I get super excited when I do. Uh, coconut shampoo, desert essence. This I'll probably throw out. That looks like it might have been used. Uh, these are awesome. Clean up your act tech wipey packs. So there's two of these give one to my husband and I'll keep one. This is a new platinum cleanser. Looks like it might have been used. So anything that's been used, sometimes I just donate it to the homeless shelter. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not stuff I use anyway. This is Mary Kay Medium Coverage Foundation. <coughs> Sorry. It is the older bottle. These do tend to sell. Uh, 
because people like their colors and you can't get them anymore. Or the formula's changed. This is Nioxin Thickening Gel. This stuff does sell. The Nioxin brand stuff does sell. This is Gliss Hair Repair Extra Volume Foundation. Foundation. Conditioner. Woo! It's getting late here, guys. I've been sick for three days. <laughs> and last but not least is this Yaria Light Diffusing Makeup in beige. I don't know anything about Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know anything about this brand. I will have to look it up. It looks full. Um, so I'm going to have to look, look this up, see if it's something that's sellable or donatable. Oh, and I did pick this up. It was $1.99. It's Nina Ross face powder vintage face powder in the color brunette i would never use this um i'm not really sure what it is it was just kind of a cool ugh, vintage thing i don't know i don't know sometimes i just i get bored and i buy things and that's when somebody should make me go home <laughs> um okay Favorite finds of the entire thing besides the jewelry, these two guys, hands down. At a garage sale in, like, the country. Um, I have always wanted one of these, and I finally got two of them. They were, I think one was 16 or 18, I don't remember. One, I asked if she'd take 10 apiece, and she happily did. It was towards, it was kind of late in the day. So first off is this guy. They're both real fur. He is, I don't know, so soft. Lamb or wool, I don't know. He is incredibly fluffy and soft. I, I love these guys. These are mine. And this guy is mink. His face is a little squished from being in the bag but he is mink and whoever made these did an amazing amazing job on them they are very well very well made so yeah mink and i i think he's some sort of lamb and i had to fight my dog away from the bag because she was insistent she was going to get them and no way <laughs> uh i picked these this up this was i think 50 cents and it's for an air plant, which I had. And, oh, I just broke it when I put that thing down. All right, well, that's garbage. I think I bought two anyways that day. So um, I got an air plant for my nephew's wedding. Or, no, her bridal shower. Uh, these were marked $5 a piece. It was the end of the day. She said she'd take five for all of them. And they are the color street which I love. I will be putting these on right after this video. Probably should have put a pair on before the video, but <laughs> that's me. Um, so yeah, I love the color street nails. They are perfect. Um, these two I have bought from another seller. I've shown her uh, pieces in videos before, and these are two other ones that I bought from her with the blue beetles that are super cool. And then this one with the coral and silver. All right, let's get into this jewelry. Listen, I am so excited. Oh, the stuff I got. So a couple pieces were expensive, like 12 bucks I paid for one. And other pieces weren't bad at all. Um, I think I paid like $30 for everything. Some pieces she would do like a dollar or so. And then other pieces were like $3. But I spent like $35 or $40 between the two days. Uh, first piece I got was this. This was handmade. So I'm not crazy about the necklace itself. It is by a artist that I have 
found an actual piece to before by was it Drummond? Drum? Drummy? Drum? Drum. Donald Drum? I can't remember his name. But this is an artist piece. Sculpture. So I'm not crazy about the rest of the necklace. It's not bad together. I love it, but I mainly bought it because of this. And I have an actual bigger sculpture of his that I found at another garage sale. And I love his work. Um, she had a ton of really cool pieces. She sold a lot. She had a lot of um, Kirk Folly. So this piece is sterling. And it's these green, I don't know what you would call these, and pearls, like coppery rose gold pearls. All of her stuff was like artist made, like she spent money on her jewelry. Um, these were a dollar a piece. This is designed by Norval Morso. And it is this copper bracelet it says I don't know Norval more so and then I can't I can't read that it's probably native this piece I don't think is silver I think it's just a cuff but for a dollar I thought that was really cute especially for fall uh These two are my favorite, so we'll look at those last. Okay. Um, all right, these are Kirk's Folly. So pretty. Um, this is made of, I think it's volcanic rock. So some of this I bought to keep, some of it I bought to sell. Just just very unique, unique pieces. And what I thought would be cool with this piece, this is volcanic rock. What I thought would be cool with this piece is you could put your essential oils in there because it is porous and you would be able to smell them. Very cool piece. Obviously artist done. Um, this is just sterling. Yeah, this is just a sterling bracelet. Uh, we got this Kirk's, this is Kirk's Folly, I believe. Yeah, this is Kirk's Folly. So, I love Kirk's Folly stuff. This piece I thought was really cool. This is handmade in South Africa. Just a really cool bright piece for summer with a nice bright sundress. Uh, this is 925, little bow ring. You know, I feel like this isn't all the jewelry. This isn't all the jewelry. There's more of it somewhere. Um, this is just what I bought the second day. This is sterling silver with pearls and turquoise and sea glass, maybe? So pretty, though. Then we got this ring, which I can't remember if it was Kirk's Folly or if it was 925. Yeah, there I definitely bought, there's definitely more jewelry somewhere. Um, but I thought that was really a cute rose gold ring. And last that we have in there, oh no, not last, we got two pairs of earrings. And these are 14 karat. So cool. Yeah, 
they're like wire wrapped. This one's a little bit. And these last ones are Kirk's Folly. These, I believe, go to the, the necklace. So yeah, there's definitely, I definitely had way more jewelry. So this is, it must have got split up somehow, but it'll be in another haul. You'll see it. <laughs> um, so this is the glass Certificado de Garanzia. Oh. Murano glass item is made by hand using lamp working and fusing techniques unique to Murano. Now let me show you this piece. I paid... I want to say 15 for it. I am obsessed. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love, 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 love. <gasps> oh, I thought it was broken. I was going to cry. Real tears. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me, let me close it up here. So this is all hand done glass work. And it is absolutely freaking amazing. Okay. Hold on. I don't even know how to. It has these glass bananas, oranges, blueberries, grapes, strawberries, pelicans, toucan, not a pelican, toucan, another toucan. Like, listen, <sighs> can you stand the cuteness of this? Look how well made it is. Oh my God. I love this. I can't tell you how much I love this. So this is going to be a keeper. I think this would look amazing in the summer with a little sundress or a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, tank top, whatever. Amazing. Amazing. I can only imagine how much that cost. Lastly. Okay. So this is not a favorite. Oh, we have another piece. Hold on. There's this guy. Is this Kirk's Folly? Hold on. I don't know if this is Kirk's Folly, but it's definitely artisan made. Again, um, like I said, most of her stuff was... It's a fish. And like I said, this is just the stuff I got the second day. The first day I got more stuff. I just don't know where it's at right now. So I actually, I think I see it, but it'll just be in another video. So yeah, such a cool, look at how cool these are. Such cool pieces she had. And last but not least was this guy. So I love crazy stuff. The crazier, the better. I'm all about it. This is no exception. This is crazy. Um, it is a necklace. It is definitely artist made. It is huge. Look at my hand. This is huge. It looks like this. It's got all this glass beads and whatnots. And then this is some sort of pod. And here, okay. And it's a butter, like a butterfly type deal with that and this these are super just her alone is worth like three hundred dollars two three hundred dollars i cannot remember the artist offhand it is artist sign like this necklace is like a three hundred dollar necklace she told me that when i bought it um and i think i paid i don't know 10 or 15 for this one too um i feel like one of them i paid 20 but i can't remember but look <laughs> look at this like what would you even wear this with we're selling that but i love it and somebody else is gonna love her too so that is my amazing amazing to me pieces of art glass jewelry okay moving on i did get a scarf i got two scarves for twenty dollars i gave one to miss carla and i kept one they're the exact same just different colors and they're by heather Heather, Heather Campbell. 
and they are silk scarves. Um, I believe hers was blue. I think I can't remember. And this is like a pink, pinkish silk mauve kind of thing. I don't love scarves, but I really like these. Um, and I do have one more that I kept. So uh, I have a couple. So we picked those up. So they're two for 20 and I believe her scarf sell for like 175 and up depending. Uh, we got this set, which I wasn't sure what it was at first. It was $6. I offered her three. She said, yes, it is eyeshadow. And it is, uh, what's the name of that? Unique. I believe it's unique. And it's all these shadows, and I believe, like, one of them is, like, $10, $15. And there's a whole crayon box full of colors. I love pigments. I am not keeping all of these. I'm going to keep probably, like, three of them and resell um, the rest. Most of them, she said, are new. But they are highly pigmented because, oh, yeah, they are unique. They are highly pigmented because they are the uh, pigments. <laughs> I like the mineral shadows. They just work better. And they last forever. Ever. Like, this is a lifetime supply of eyeshadow <laughs> for $3. So I picked that up to resell. And then we'll get... Oh, wait. I got one more random before we get into those. This hat I absolutely love. I paid $5 for it. It is Gigi Pip. I normally wouldn't wear a hat like this, but I really liked it. And it actually looked decent on me. Um, it's by Gigi Pip. It's brand new. Uh, and it's called the Loot... Loot and something. So I picked that up. Again, had planned to wear it but um the weather's like seven been 70 something degrees <laughs> all month long i am not complaining but um yeah haven't been able to wear too much winter stuff okay i picked this up it was a quarter it's a really nice leather wallet i'm gonna see if my dad wants it it's caillou emblem lambskin very soft that's just that'll come off <clears throat> We'll see if my daddy wants it. Uh, this was $5 for Dolce and Gabbana sunglasses. Absolutely. And this is what they look like. Oh, nothing on those. They are authentic. They're like the shield glasses. I have so many sunglasses. These will be for sale if you are interested. And they are in very, very good condition. We got a couple of wallets. Well, let's do this guy first. I love, okay, so I love, 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 love baskets, purses. This pink one I think is amazing. I'm very particular. I don't just buy any. They have to have, they have to be something I like. Oh, I always find goodies. What do we got? Oh, 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 I forgot about this. All right. It is by Orbox, Doorbox, Orbox. I don't know, but it looks like this. I love it. All right, so we want, we got some of this mega plush, which I had heard people saying was really good for $1.99. It was at Marshall's for $3.99. We'll give it a try. And then here we have a 14 karat gold necklace that I purchased. It is a very thin one, but that's okay because I have like to layer and I have little charms for these anyway. And it is 14 karat. It was $20 at the thrift store. It's just like a tiny, um, I feel like my lighting, like my camera for some reason looks brownish. Like the color looks off. I hope that's not what it's coming across as, but it's the color I'm seeing. 
So $20 for a 14 karat gold necklace. Not too bad. Um, so I did pick that up. Yeah, why does this look so... Like I have some sort of filter on it, which I don't, but it looks like I do. Which is very unsettling because I don't know how I did that. I don't know what that does. Well, sorry if it doesn't look clear or the right colors. Uh, next, I picked up this lug brand new for $5 at a garage sale. It's the wristlet. <clears throat> That's a great deal. I think these are like $50 a piece. Let me see the price on here. $139, but it's got a U, so I don't know what. Yeah, it looks yellow. Huh. So that was brand new. We got this Tory Birch pink wallet for a dollar. Just need some cleaning. Not terrible. And this was Car Ken, originally from Korea, it says. This was $3. And it is brand new. And it has, it looks like a cigarette case, but it's, you know, for phone or whatever. Cause do people even smoke like that anymore? It's got the long crossbody strap. And then inside looks like that. Super cute. I love it. My husband says I said super, I say super cute, but everybody says it. What other words explain it? <laughs> uh, this coach tote. Back it This coach gold coach tote. Was this, this was $3 at a garage sale. I've sold this bag before. It's in pretty good condition. So I picked that up to sell again. <laughs> um, these two things, this came in it, but I don't think it's supposed to. I think this is like some sort of scarf or belt to something. Very vintage. I absolutely love it. And this purse is real fur. It is a muff and a purse. I had one of these. I did sell it. I really love this one. And then the top opens up and it's a, a purse too. I really like this. So we got that and then we got this vintage coach bag that was a dollar. I have a whole bunch of these. I need, what I think I'm going to do is that whatnot app. I think I'm going to clean them, wash them and auction them off on there. Make them look like new again and then auction them off. <clears throat> And last but not least, if you've seen this already, I'm very sorry, but I thought I didn't get it. I did pick up this Louis Vuitton. I think I paid 70 for this. Um, I, maybe I did put this in a video. If I did, here it is again. And it is this um, Murakami, Murakami Louis Vuitton Beverly. I think this is PM. And it's perfect size. I love these collections. I do will keep all of my Murakami pieces and my uh, Vernie pieces. Um, the regular pieces I definitely will sell from time to time. But for the most part, these I will keep. Because um, these are harder to come by. This one is in really good condition for the price I paid. It is authentic. It does have some water spots. Not a huge deal. This is the inside. And what I had planned to do was take, I feel like the, the date code and everything was in a weird place, but what I plan to do is use it as a wristlet. <laughs> this might be too long. I might use my little wristlet. Put a little wristlet strap on there and then a long crossbody strap. Because I don't like short bags like this. So it would either have to be a wristlet or just a clutch in itself or take a, or put a um, crossbody chain on it. I just don't love that size. <clears throat> so yeah, this was 70 
I love it. I love it. I don't get very lucky very often on the Murakami bags. I have a few, but usually like once a year I might find one for a decent price. So, okay. Well, that's my haul. I hope that it doesn't look as washed out or gray. It looks brown. Everything looks brown. Like this should be super pink, baby pink. And it looks, it looks brown for some reason. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, if you like these kind of videos, like hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos from me. And as always, subscribe and like Here's this. What? what? And I'll see you guys next time.